Now, here is Ed Murrow. Good evening. Automation, in its simplest form, means one machine telling another machine what to do. The simplest example, the thermostat, telling your furnace when to stop and when to start. Automation is a young, new word, heavy with promise and with problems. As a matter of fact, several people have suggested to us that it's a little too heavy for a Sunday afternoon in June. Could be. We shall see. As Bill Gillespie says, nothing is impossible. And this is SAGE. The Lincoln Lab is near Lexington, Massachusetts, the largest magic brain in the world. This building is one immense computing mechanism and laboratory built for the United States Air Force by IBM in conjunction with the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. We have all watched UNIVAC and Whirlwind in action, but this SAGE device is the $20 million culmination of these developments. It has been used experimentally to coordinate the air defense system of the northeast portion of the United States. Similar installations are planned for other parts of the nation. All the flight plans of commercial and military aviation, plus the radar intelligence from Texas towers at sea, picket ships and airborne detection devices, Air Force and Navy, and Ground Observer Corps, are fed into these high-speed digital computers, whose memory can store some seven million different facts. The outdated method was to chart all friendly and unidentified aircraft with plotting boards and slide rules. Bangor, three miles southeast of observation post, flying southwest. Check, thank you. Now, this winking, blinking wonder with its 25,000 tubes and its racks of high-speed tapes and millions of punch cards and its men, hundreds of them, digest, computes, perceives, and passes everything on to a final radar screen in the command station. This is Dr. George Valley, who helped build this SAGE project and is now chief scientist of the Air Force. This display console shows us the air situation. That is, it tells us immediately and at a glance, and up to the second, the positions of each airplane in the sky. It tells us how fast they're going, how high they're flying, and most important of all, from the point of view of air defense, it tells us their identity, whether they're friendly or hostile to us. A collision course, like that of the two transports over the Grand Canyon last summer, would have had these computers chattering and flashing their warning protests many minutes before that crash. 